Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Turks. So, let's continue where we left off and kill some more White Walkers. I think I should send one composite bomb into Edirn. Also, I'm considering getting a Trireme in Edirn, mostly to protect the Pearls. And maybe to protect a potential trade route to Kuala Lumpur, because we are really going to need that gold. And that's the only trade route that we can actually get with Kuala Lumpur. So, I think we have to do something about that. We'll need at least one Shireem, possibly two or three. We'll see. Obviously, that will cost us maintenance, which is unfortunate. But we also need at least one Shireem to try to make contact with other AIs. For trade deals, if nothing else. We need to make contact with someone. With anyone. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get a trade route with Kuala Lumpur. We'll see. Right, more dudes to kill. We also need the honor finisher, but that's going to take a while. How much culture are we getting? Nine culture per kill. Okay, that's not too bad. We can kill one more dude on this turn. No, we can't. Right, okay. So you can work on... Another mine? What else can we do? We need to finish this mine down here. The city is actually working that tile. Which isn't very useful, because it has an unfinished mine. We need to do something to fix our economy. We'll start losing gold soon enough, because the golden age will end in a few turns. Yep, we are already losing 5 gold per turn. Annoying. Let's see. Well, kill this dude. And composite bombman. Right, we need to move. And down he goes. Okay, good. Now, we can kill the composite bombman. Like so. And probably kill the handax. And some of these horsemen. The horsemen blocked the first, which is pretty annoying. How much damage can we do? Oh yeah, we can kill this guy. And then focus on the horsemen. We need to be working this tile. There, because, you know, we need the gold from it. There we go. That's only minus one gold per turn. That's acceptable. Let's go finish that mine. We should also repair that pasture. Which is partially what the composite bomb is for. How many turns to finish the mine? Only two more turns. Okay, we can do that. We got one more attack. Should probably attack the pikemen. The pikemen might pillage the stone. Which is going to be annoying. But there's not much I can do to prevent that. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. Okay, well, we'll just repair it. If he pillages it. Please don't pillage it. He certainly can. Come on. Yeah, the White Walker's turn will be taking a while now. He did not pillage it. No, he did. Damn it. Okay, that's pretty bad. And now the pearls are blocked. This is what I was talking about. That's the reason I want a composite bomb down here. As well as a trireme. Move into the city. Okay, we need to repair that quarry ASAP. Minus 8 science per turn is not so good. Kill him. And protect the first. What are you guys doing? The mine is almost done. We can finish that camp later. I think it's not as important as having the gold. Or at least not losing as much gold. Alright, next. I don't think there's any AI anywhere close to us. Which is why all the White Walkers are focusing on us. I'm pretty sure every single AI anywhere close to us got eliminated. Obviously, the ones we already knew about did get eliminated. But I think there was also an AI to the west of Napoleon, for example, and that one probably got eliminated too. I'm just guessing. Okay, cover two or medic? Medic isn't bad, but I think I like having cover two. Let's get cover two and stay here, I think. We need that worker in the front. 
This is getting pretty dangerous. At least we can attack from here. That's a positive. So, kill this guy. At least we are getting nice culture. But we still need... How much more culture for the next policy? We aren't even close. Next policy costs 785. Yep, we still need a lot of culture. We need to kill a lot of units. That's what it is. Okay. Looks good. One more. There we go. And fortify. I could start a citadel somewhere around here. I'm still thinking about that. We could also start a citadel here to claim the copper, but we would have to protect the mine on the copper and actually build a mine to begin with. It's probably not worth doing, simply because we won't be able to protect that. Okay, this is a lot of units. Okay, zero gold per turn, that's good. That's what we needed, let's go repair that quarry. Maybe kill the horsemen first, move into the city for a bonus. Nah, just kill it with a spearman, but then we won't be protecting the quarry. No, just kill him with an archer and focus on the pikemen, I think. Start repairing that quarry. Only three turns. Caravan. Well, caravan to Edirne. We don't really have a big choice, although I could send a caravan from Edirne to Borsa. That's also a possibility, but I want Edirne to have a decent population. Alright. Next. Come on, bring it on. We need to get crossbowmen before the White Walkers get gunpowder units, like musket men and things like that. Alright, repair that pasture and the composite bowmen will just stay here. Not much point attacking this camp. Because we can't destroy it with one unit. That's just not going to happen. Alright. How much damage can we do? We are getting lone swords and pikemen now, which is pretty bad. But there's not much we can do about that. We need four attacks to kill a lone sword. It's pretty rough. Well, I could kill him. With a spearman. Let's do it. The thirds should be safe. Nothing can pillage them. What's going on with the tiles? Seems like some kind of strange bug. There we go, it's gone. Not sure what happened there. Stay fortified, I think. Yeah. We'll get attacked by the catapult, but this guy has cover too. So he should be fine. Alright, next. The pikemen will probably move to the ship. He might attack the city, but I'm okay with that. He attacked the city. Alright, that's good. That pikeman needs to die. This is getting pretty dangerous. I could really use one more ranged unit, but that would cost us extra maintenance. We can't really afford that. Can we actually kill that pikeman? I don't know about that. I don't think we can. Yeah, he's going to pillage the first. We can't prevent that. Damn it. Well, that sucks. I can't kill it. I can fortify and that's about it. I can't kill it. Oh well, whatever. We'll go repair it once the quarry is repaired, but he's pretty much guaranteed to pillage the first now. And we are losing 10 gold per 10. That's bad. And we'll be losing more because we are about to get a Shireem. But we seriously need that Shireem. Great. I can't move the Spearman because I need to protect the stone. We really need one more ranged unit. I need to have this composite bowman here. On the other hand, two ranged units simply aren't enough. To kill everything in time. They just aren't. Accuracy. Okay, you will go down. Fortify. Kill the horsemen. We are getting close to the next policy. But we need two more policies. 
to get the honor finisher, unfortunately. Still, one step at a time. Catapults. There. Alright, looks good. Only losing 7 gold now. We need to repair that camp ASAP. We're done repairing the quarry. Alright, next. 8 more turns to finish National College. Maybe our science won't be as bad with that National College. It will be. We could really use one more city. If I could get rid of that White Walker camp to the southeast, I could consider starting one more city. What's this? Gain 32 science. Well, 50% chance. Let's go for the 50%. I think we failed. Did we? Yeah, we failed. Oh well, it was worth a try. Okay, horseman, eh? Really, that wasn't enough to kill it? There, now it was. More dudes to kill. Easy enough. And this guy. Let's go repair the first already. Might have to move the general or something. Yep, there we go, that works. And like this. Losing gold, yes, I know. Tell me something new. Seven more turns. What we need is guilds for the trading posts. I can't build trading posts because I don't have the tech for it. Edirn is actually taking damage. Well, this is exactly why I need this composite bomb in here. As I said before. Let's kill that horseman before it disembarks. And hide the worker inside the city for now. Kill the horseman. Okay, and now we have a pikeman. Drilto? I think so. We could pick up medic, but I think I prefer Drilto. Or we could pick up accuracy one. It's a little bit suboptimal to have both Drill and Shock. But he needs to protect the stone, and really is pretty much useless on that tile. Let's go for shock one. He will get a bonus. Alright. Kill more units. And that's enough. So this will give us plus one happiness and plus two culture for each city with a garrison. Yep. Done. What about that pikeman then? There's no actual farm on this tile because it's not finished. So he can pillage something that's not finished. We could kill him, but I think I'd rather stay on the camp. Then again, the camp is still pillaged. Oh, what? Really? One health? Come on now. A deer. I would get more units, but seriously, we can't afford that right now. We could get a Kurt. Can we pick up some decisions? Well, no, not really. We could also build an oracle, but it would be better to build it in Borsa, or at least it will be faster. We could use an oracle, yeah. Let's build that court. Not much point building a caravan or a cargo ship right now. Because clearly the trade route to Kuala Lumpur is not safe at the moment. I'm hoping to make it safe, which is why we needed that Shireem. But one Shireem might not be enough. We'll see. Come on. So, how much culture do we need? Probably 300, 400? Next policy cost, over 1000. Well, that will take a while then. Okay. That's a lot of units that we'll have to kill. So, shock one on this guy. I'm considering it. Yeah, okay, shock one. That will make things a little bit easier for him. Kill more dodds. And now we can actually explore a bit. Great success. And get some experience for the Charim. One of the reasons why I wanted it. To start getting experience for it. Okay. Well, I think we'll be keeping these positions. For a pretty long time. I see no reason to move. Kill these guys. Kill the catapult. 
<laughs> That's 8 culture. And fortify. That worker can go do something useful. Like build a camp right here. We never finished it. I'm amazed that Kuala Lumpur didn't get captured by White Walkers yet. That probably means they aren't actually trying. That's the only explanation that I can see. They are focusing on me. If they tried to take Kuala Lumpur, then yeah, it wouldn't be very hard for them to do. Okay. Kill this guy and we got a pikeman incoming. So... I think boarding party is the obvious choice here. And we can kill another unit. What's up, Kuala Lumpur? Hey, we actually got a little bit of influence with them. Yep, we did. But I don't think we'll be able to get friendly, never mind allied. They want you to defeat the barbarian units that are invading their territory. <laughs> yeah, I think we have bigger problems than that. They are invading our territory as well. Another one bites the dust. And like this, catapult, and this guy. I could kill him with a spearman, which I suppose should be fine. Yeah, okay, just kill it. I don't like leaving the worker like this. Yeah, well, I suppose we can protect the worker. And continue the camp. Next. Only four more turns. Let's keep exploring a bit. We could actually try to find the AIs with the Chirim. But that's probably not very safe. We'll see. We'll explore a little bit. But I'm pretty sure the AIs that didn't actually get killed are nowhere close to us. Not even remotely close to us. So, accuracy one, that will help against naval targets. Go back here and keep repairing that. We need to stop losing gold. Kill the catapult. Accuracy one or cover one? I think I prefer accuracy actually to get a bonus to attack. Taking damage on composite moments shouldn't be a problem. At least not a huge problem. So. Kill that horseman, perhaps? Yep. And you can't attack anything. I could move and then attack, or I can just fortify and skip the turn. Minus 9 gold now. Well, we need one more turn to finish repairing the first. If the honor finisher works against white walkers, we won't have any gold problems once we get the honor finisher. Which is why we need the Oracle. That's probably going to be faster than actually getting the policy properly through culture. I'm 99% sure that's actually going to be faster. Alright, I don't want to go too far. There's a barbarian camp three tiles away from Kuala Lumpur. How the heck did Kuala Lumpur not get conquered yet? That's pretty impressive. Well, they are doing a good job. Okay, kill that horseman, I suppose. And kill the Handax. The good thing about barbarians spawning stronger units is that we'll get more culture from them, but they will obviously be harder to kill. Alright, keep the garrison since we get bonuses from that. Only 9 science per turn. <laughs> That's not very good, to say the least. But there's not much we can do about that right now. We're trying. We need to get rid of this camp, basically. We do, and... Oh yeah, we should make contact with this city-state down here. If possible. Might be tough with a Chirim, but we can try. Shouldn't be that hard. Depending on how many Chirims we get from the White Walker camp to the southeast. Should be doable. Okay, minus 6 gold, that's better. Not much better, but better. We got a pikeman incoming. Yeah, I don't like this pikeman too much. I really don't. Attack two different units. 
And focus on the pikeman, I think. Yep, focus on the pikeman. We finished repairing the first god. Shame we can't get trading posts yet. Alright, next. I could chop this forest to the east to speed up the oracle. But we will obviously need to protect the worker in that case. And I can't really use any of these units to protect the worker. We would need a new melee unit, basically. Which means paying additional 1 gold per turn in maintenance. Which kind of sucks. Alright, at least we can protect the pearls properly, sort of. Kill the pikeman and the lone sword next. Yep, down he goes. I think that's it. I would like to repair the iron, but again, same problem. We would have to protect the worker. I have to protect the quarry and I have to protect the first. And we obviously need a melee unit on top of the citadel. Yeah, I don't think any improvements to the east will be happening until we get some kind of unit. I could use this spearman in theory. The quarry getting pillaged isn't a huge problem. But if I do that, it will definitely get pillaged and melee units will be able to attack composite bowmen from the northeast, which isn't what I want. We'll just have to pass on that forest. Okay, this is pretty good. Move into the city to repair. And... Lone Sword. I think we can ignore the horseman. Yep. We can ignore him. Do some damage to the Lone Sword. I think we can kill him. Yep, we can. Looks good. We can repair the Arnon a little bit. It's surrounded with hills. No, this is Tantra. But I'll see any White Walker units that are incoming, with the exception of Horsemen, I suppose. No, a Horseman can't move in from here and then capture the Worker, so we'll see any unit that is, that's incoming and we'll be able to react. We can get a mine over here. I can try to chop that forest, but it's a little bit risky without an escort, it really is. Still, I could use that extra production to speed up the oracle. The faster we get the oracle, the better. We need that honor finisher ASAP. But I don't really regret picking up two policies in tradition, because first, oligarchy is pretty damn useful for the extra city bombardment strength, and aristocracy is also pretty damn useful. We kind of need both these policies. Maybe the order could have been slightly different, but we need both. We really do. Kill this guy, that's the only target at the moment. Let's go try to chop that forest. I don't see any units incoming from the east. It's mostly from the west at the moment. This is looking good. We just need to fix our economy, which is easier said than done. That's pretty much what we've been trying to do for a while. I could always get some gold at the expense of culture, but I don't want to. We need our culture. I'm not that desperate for gold just yet. Let's check demographics real quick. How's the AI doing? Come on. There might be some kind of isolated area. This is a Pangea map, but Pangea maps can be pretty strange. As in, this is the Tilted Axis map, but I picked landmass in advanced options to be Pangea specifically. 33%. Almost 5 million population. One of the AIs is clearly doing quite well. My money is on Shaka, but there's no way to know. Hopefully we'll find out eventually. Another kill. Where do we want to attack here? Well, we might want to move that worker. I think we have to kill the horseman. Can we kill the horseman? No. We cannot. Well, we need to move the worker then. We can finish repairing 
the iron later. <laughs> but I still want to chop that forest. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to lose these workers. This horseman needs to die though. That's the easy part, I suppose. Yep. Like so. And... Two more attacks. We can kill the hand axe. That's fine. I can still get a citadel over here. The problem is that we need a fourth melee unit for that. Which I can recruit, but that will cost us additional maintenance. And every single gold per turn is valuable at the moment. Once we get currency, we can build a market. So that's going to be a little bit of help. How much gold is Borsa generating? Not that much, but a market will definitely help. Quite a bit, though. So, Tririm, let's go try to make contact with that city-state to the south. Shouldn't it be too hard. Alright, and back to Borsa. Like so. What about that catapult? We could kill it easily. I think I'd rather kill the melee units right here. And now we can continue repairing the iron. Not that we can sell it to anyone. And I still want to try chopping the forest. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.